Gemini. Hi, Gemini people. Doing your monthly horoscope for July 2020. Doing general tarot, past, present, future. What you can expect, love messages, oracle cards, and energies. Please like, subscribe, and share to my videos. I'll be doing these monthly. Also be doing love horoscopes monthly as well. Please help my little channel to grow. Hopefully my audience can grow so I can start doing lives and connecting with you all more. If you connect with me on my Facebook page, um, I already do lives on there. You can connect with me on there. Not a problem. I have to get to a thousand subscribers before I can do lives on, on YouTube. It's going to take a while. But manifesting it to happen. Staying positive. That's what we are doing at the moment. Now for my Gen Geminis, Geminis, I was going to say, Geminis, my twins. See what we can expect for your July 2020. <clears throat> okay, current situation is strength. You guys have been through something. Your lesson, karmic lesson has been learnt. Current situation, strength. Leo card, maybe you dealt with a Leo. Or a fire sign. You've come out, come through something, come out from something stronger, people. Job loss. Breakup. Fighting with someone. You stepped away from it completely and you've come out of the other side stronger than you, you were. Not taking any bullshit. Putting yourself first. And saying, nah, had enough. Not want to do more. Bye bye. Very strong people. First card to come out. Past energy falls, so new beginnings. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune and the world. Wow. That is three major arcana cards. We've well, got four major arcana cards. Look. All about new beginnings and change. Look at this. That is crazy. That is the first time in a reading I've ever had four major arcana cards come up saying you're getting a new chance, a new start. A new beginning. You're strong. Full represents a completely new, new beginning. The world complete. The world represents a completely new beginning. And the wheel of fortune. The wheel's turning. You're getting a new beginning. Wow. I wonder what your new beginning is. Let's see if we can get some more clarity on, on this new beginning. You've walked away from something. And you're stronger because of it. And you're getting this new beginning from the universe. Okay, okay, yep, yep. So you've walked away from a fight. You've walked away from heart, from a relationship. It wasn't serving you anymore. Look at this. This is telling us what you walked away from, present energy. It still is in your present energy, but you're coming out of this. You come out of this. You're strong people now. You're strong-willed. You're getting a complete new beginning. You've used your intuition, actually, to end this relationship or to walk away from this per person that you were fighting with. Could be a friendship, could be a family relationship, but you were heartbroken through this process. You had to do it though because you were sick of the fighting. You were sick of the, you were sick of the um, day to day fighting and struggles. Walked away, heart was broken, but you knew it served you a better, higher purpose. You were following your higher purpose and your intuition with your high priestess card. Future energy, King of Swords. Knight of Cups, Five of Wands. So you're standing in your King of Swords energy. You're strong-willed, looking forward to your future, cutting out anyone that doesn't serve you any more purpose, looking forward, looking forward to your future life, planning your future life, staying strong, cutting out the bullshit and not letting anyone in that doesn't serve you any purpose. Giving in to the old way of life. Accepted that it had happened. Walking away from it though and not wanting it in your future life anymore. But there is no romance. Knight of Cups. Knight is an offering. Change and new excitements, particularly of romantic nature. It can be invitations, opportunities and offers. I see you dating a lot. I see you getting a lot of attention. You're changing your image as well. I just got a picture of like a really good looking guy and a really good looking girl. A really good looking couple. You're working on your health. You're working on your, you know bettering your character 
maybe even losing weight or getting a new wardrobe or a new haircut, you're transforming yourself. And I see you going out on lots of dates and having lots of fun. And just enjoying yourself thoroughly. Yep, there we go. Nice summer summary to this reading for July. Three of Wands, preparation and expansion. Freedom, adventure, travel. Some of you may even move abroad or move. Hard work paying off, success and being happy with your choices. You're happy you've walked away from this past energy, this past conflict and this relationship. You've closed the door on it. You've got three new beginnings there. You've got one in love, one in life. So two new beginnings in love and life. Very similar to Capricorn. You may be dealing with a Capricorn because they got exactly the same reading as you. Very spooky. Two new beginnings. Very scary. Very nice reading there though. Interested in this new love life, but I see you just having lots of fun for now. Nothing serious, just having lots of fun, changing your image, enjoying yourself, dating, going on play dates. If you're sleeping around, be careful doing that, please. But just having lots of fun. Putting yourself first, wanting some fun, wanting some dates, and just living a really exciting, happy life. Right, we got so, yep. Three new beginnings. Look at this death card. Enter the complete enter the old, bringing in the new. It's happened one, three times now. Three times. Clear new beginnings here. That's crazy. And it shows you putting yourself first, earthing yourself, getting in touch with your emotional side, cutting out the bullshit that no longer serves you. Putting yourself first and getting in touch with your inner being. Wow. Beautiful story there for Geminis. Let's see if we can get some more messages on their love. This new love that's coming. But I see it as nothing really serious. Just as dating and having fun. Ooh. Some of you are really serious about love. You'll be calling in your soulmate. And going on a retreat. So meeting someone that really sparks your soul. Going away with them. Having some fun with them. But you, you really, really do connect with them. And you're calling... Like, they do feel like a soulmate for you. Look, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Maybe you even know this person and you're just waiting for the right time to be single to take that step forward. It does show you going on a retreat, though, and enjoying time away with this person, really taking your time and getting to know them. There's something spiritual about you, you or them. Remember, spiritual spirituality has lots of meaning. It doesn't mean you go to church every day and pray. It could be empaths, could be different cultures, could be what is like different religions, could be um, really connected to nature. Lots of different meanings for spirituality does not mean that you literally have to go to church every day and pray. Okay, all right, let's check current energies. It's great that these readings are just flying out. Your cards are just so straightforward, beautiful new beginnings. Just amazing. Like, I'm kind of smiling for you guys, for my Gemini people. It's a really fun reading to do. What do we got here? Attachment, magician in the mirror, and indecision. See, you were torn about your old life. This person really did break your heart that you walked away from. But you chose the right path. You chose the high road. You were in, in, in aid indecision for a while. But you did make the right decision. The universe has showed that today. <clears throat> this, so you are manifesting love. Look. Magician in the, in the mirror. You are manifesting a better life. Better love life. A healthier life all around. That's what I'm getting from this car. You are manifesting it to happen. And putting... It out there to the world for it to happen. And this new person you meet, calling in your soulmate especially, you're going to find yourself very attached to them. It's like you meet each other and you're instantly drawn to them. You're going to know when you see them. You're going to know. You're just going to know. Alright, let's get some. So what I'm doing with the charms, I'm going to sprinkle them all over the cards to see if there's any extra messages I need to pay attention to or give to you guys for your July 2020. So let's have a look. Messages for my Gemini. Oh. Messages for my Gemini, please. Oh, we only got true charms. Yep. So we've got the medicine 
little needle. So if this person was an addiction to you, you were very attached to them. And this heartbreak did men make you mentally ill and unstable. That's why, may or maybe the person was even mentally ill and unstable. And you had to walk away from them. It was like devil energy. It broke your heart doing so because you really did love them. But you had to walk away for your own well-being. And look, calling in your soulmate. The lock lands it on. Calling in your soulmate. You'll find the key. It's going to happen. You do meet someone and you're going to be instantly attracted to them and attached to them. Clear messages there for July for my Geminis. Thank you so much for watching this beautiful reading. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and share. Help my little channel grow. And look forward to reading for you again in the future. Let me know below in the comments about what new beginnings you take in um, you have in July because I'm very interested to know. Take care, Geminis. Bye-bye.